Hey everyone, had to do a call in Mesa. A gentleman just called, he works at like a chemical plant down there. I guess on their property they have a snake. I'm not too sure if it's a rattlesnake or not. They said they've been seeing it since last Thursday, which is almost a week ago now. Um, and something about a hole, something about it went in a hole or something, which is never good news. <laughs> never, never good news. But I guess I can water it out. We'll see. I'm not too sure what's going on. He never saw the snake. He's just getting word from others. So uh, I'm almost there now. So let's go see what we got. How you doing? How you I'm doing good. Thank you. So, Have you seen it or? No, no. I, I'm, I've been, I've been over here safe. <laughs> <laughs> so is that her or oh, CC? Oh, yeah. She over there. So <laughs> yeah. Go over there. Okay. So I'm gonna let you through here. All What's right. your name? Marissa. Marissa. All right. Good luck, Marissa. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Hi, thanks for watching it. Oh yeah, you saw it? I was bleeding right there. Oh yeah. I turned around because I heard something, so uh -huh. I turned it off. And sure enough, I heard it. And it, it's in this hole that's right here. Okay. And I've gone past it a few times and mm -hmm. it keeps poking its head out. Little head poke. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's- Is it a rattle, it's a rattlesnake? Yeah, it's a rattlesnake for sure, 100. Hmm. So there's no way to get a hose or anything over here. Some kind of water. Or I could fill my bucket up and maybe just dump it in there. Did you see his head poke out yet? I have not. Not yet. Just leave that filled up? Yeah, that'd probably be the, and that's like, because I doubt any kind of hose could reach this way, but yeah, that might. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. We might make you do another trip. We'll see if this fills it up. So what you're seeing here is a technique we call watering. Basically, we're putting water into a hole to get it to come out. It's not gonna drown, we're not gonna collapse a hole on it. We're very careful in the way that we do this. Basically, rattlesnakes, for whatever reason, whenever water touches them inside of a hole like this, they just come out like they're in a trance. Other snakes like gopher snakes or king snakes, they won't do that. They'll come out and look at you and then disappear again. But it works great for us with rattlesnakes. So when you see us pouring water in a hole, we're not trying to hurt the snake. This is one of the techniques that we use to safely extract the snake so that we can relocate it. Hey, how big, how big you think you said? Well, it was wrapped around the whole thing. I was telling you, I was surprised you heard it over your machine. No, I was about to start it. Oh. And I thought it was something from the machine, so I turned it off. And then I went to go look, and that's when I see him, and it was wrapped around there. And I saw the camouflage, and I was like, yep. <laughs> yep. Then I heard the rattler, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, like, there'll be a pocket. Uh-huh. Something moving in there. Here he comes. See his head? Yeah, see? I told you. Look, see the head right there and the tongue. Over here. Oh, he poked in, actually. Just kidding. Ooh, there's a big old spider on his back. Now you have Yeah. Nope, oh, you can get one in the bucket. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to go in there. You're good. Do you see that nasty spider yep. in my bucket now? <laughs> big old spider. Oh it's my God. Stuff. He's kind of dirty, so that he's not as pretty. The spider or the. Everything. <laughs> 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 yeah, I see the bucket. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, You're amazing. <laughs> he's a few years old. Oh, oh okay. okay. At, yeah, at least baby. two Three. years old. Yeah. They usually count the rattles, huh? Yeah, well, no, actually, you, you can't count the rattles. They can shed several times a year and get a couple oh, rattles yeah. a year. I can send it to you for your PowerPoint oh if God, you want. This little one here. 
how muddy because I had to water them out, but I'm happy that it came out pretty uh, pretty fast, actually. We didn't really have a hose nearby, so that guy was nice enough to fill my bucket up with some water, and it worked out. All right, buddy, got a nice pack right in for you. You got to be a little better. Okay. Get back in there. goes see you buddy all right well thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that video please subscribe and hit the like button if you did um and here's some flowers well i don't know if they're flowers they're like little balls little yellow balls all over look at that all over what are they i don't remember seeing them so if you lived in Arizona your entire life and this stuff is brand new to you, you're not alone. This is an invasive plant called globe chamomile or stink net. And it is showing up everywhere in Arizona. And it is a big problem. It's filling in all these spaces between these native plants and creating connectivity that fires love to eat. And that's gonna be a really big problem when everything dries out and the fire season starts. We might have fires this year like we've never seen before. And that's gonna be a big problem for homeowners and wildlife. So I'm hoping for the best. Judging on how much of this stuff is out there, that's all we can really do is hope. I don't know. Probably why I got allergies. Blame it on these. I don't know what they are though. <laughs>